Yeah, it's all right. You got you to gotta walk before you can run. Yep, exactly. Spencer Wig, he's back with us. And and uh, what do you think, man? What have you been doing the last few weeks? Yeah, you know, I've just been working out at home and farming, staying busy. And, you know, I got a call here over the weekend and come out for a tryout. And, uh, Trial went really good for me, and ended up signing me after. What was the? What did you learn from the summer being in camp with these guys? When it ended, did they say, "Hey, man, keep staying in shape, keep uh, working out. We may call you later this year." Yeah, no, it, it ended obviously like on a good note. Obviously, I would have liked to have stayed um, right after your camp got done, but it's just how things work out sometimes. And you know, Coach Dave told me, you know, just keep working out, staying ready, and you know, kind of had that feeling that there was a chance that I might be back at some point, and. Um, just kind of didn't know really when that would be and was thankful that a call came and, you know, I'm happy to be back here. There you go. It's almost Thanksgiving and you're back in the NFL. What, what did you feel like, you, what did you take away from this summer as far as, I'm sure you came to camp thinking, I'm prepared, I'm ready, mm-hmm. and then you probably learned some things about your game that you said, okay, I need to work on. What what did you leave here needing to work on in your mind? Yeah, you know, end of the day, kind of off of this feedback I got was just kind of trying to become a more powerful player, a stronger player was kind of the biggest thing. And, you know, when I got released, I didn't know if I was going to be without a team for, you know, a week or if I was going to be you know, three months like it ended up being what it was. So just went back to training and um, working out to be a football player again and really was able to kind of hone in on just some, you know, weak spots through that area and was able to kind of, like I said, felt like get my body in you know, better shape now than what it was when I came into camp. Um, so that, I think that's kind of been a big thing. I'm excited now to get out to practice and just truly really see how I feel going through and doing some football stuff. What did you do out in Iowa to get in better shape? South Dakota. Or South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I just, you know, was working out five days a week, doing my uh, lifting and my conditioning. Um, and then, you know, I'd do that stuff in the morning and I'd go home to the farm and dad yeah, would put me to work and get some free labor. I was going to say, is there any part of the farm work that actually is like a good football workout as well? Is there any is, is there any two for ones out there where right, oh, you're getting things done, but you're also getting some work in here? Absolutely. I mean, we were putting up fence and just having to carry around fence poles and um, be on your feet all day doing that stuff, pulling wires and just different things like that. And then um, I was around some helping some of our family members and our family just work some cattle and do different things like that so I mean that's an agility workout in itself so there was definitely days that it kind of had a two for one but it was also I enjoyed it when I came home and dad just said yeah you're just gonna go combine corn the rest of the day and <laughs> didn't have to do anything too st- uh, stressful now how much does he, he it's you and two brothers or one brother I have three other brothers. three brothers yep. and they're all on the farm working uh, for the most part, yes. Yeah. So dad's loving free labor, man. He's, oh, yeah. He's, yeah. Uh, your dad seems kind of like a character. Is he kind of a jokester? A little bit. Like, yeah. uh, you know, joke around, have fun. But um, also once things done then the right way, and which is usually his way. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, definitely likes to have fun. When you're out there this last few months, you didn't know if the Niners are going to call you back. But were you keeping an eye on this team just because you do know these guys and you were in camp with these guys yeah no absolutely i'd always watch them on sunday and just you know like you said you, i was with the uh, d-line for how long and um you know for game, you know, know some of these guys and you know i would text them throughout the season and just to kind of stay in touch and um so just kind of watch them see how they were doing and just kind of you know just stay following the team just kind of keeping a heads up on what's going on who, who did you learn from this summer in that room who, who helped you along as far as technique was i don't think people realize how much a D-line position is technique rich. Mm-hmm. So yeah. a lot of times the older guys know way more than the younger guys. Yep, mm-hmm. absolutely. I mean, I mean, I, I can say everyone in the D-line, they were all between from Eric, KD, uh, Kinlaw, Givens. Like, everyone was really good and helping me. And, you know, it wasn't a, you know, you're still UDFA. Like, you know, we're not going to put too much time into you. I, like, they were, like, every technique, every little thing that they that they saw or picked out, even if I you know, didn't always ask them, you know, they would come to me with feedback and tell me different things to help me, which was really huge for me. How about your weight? Where was your weight in the summer and what is it now? Yeah, so I think I was hovering right at 300 um, when I got here over the over the summer and then now I've been kind of in that 302 303 range so where do you feel best where where, where where do you feel like you're the best version of you yeah well I mean honestly right now I mean I feel like I'm the best version of me right now I and mean, just having this time to train and condition how I've had I feel like I said now I'm coming in you know better shape than I've, than I've ever had done will your family get out to see you during Thanksgiving or yeah. or are you going to do the uh, the video phone call deal yeah. on, on turkey day might, might be a video phone call deal but I'm sure they'll be out here at some point yeah um last one um the, you know people think of the nfl they think of the glamour the glitz of the whole thing but then there's the whole the the, the part of it that's kind of thankless and it's behind the scenes and yep. you don't know what your future is yep. and it's like how how does that sit with you because i mean 
you want to get your this is what you want your career to be but at the same time there's so much at the beginning where it's like you know you just don't know it takes a while to kind of sometimes be on the practice squad establish yourself it's yep. a process yep exactly you know everyone's journey um to the nfl is something different so you know i've embraced mine you know and um, I'm just thankful to kind of be back here with this opportunity, and you know I'm just going to try and make the most of it. Around. Yeah. Hey, man. Good to see you again. Thanks yeah, for coming. Too. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you.